Hello you guys, it's time for another episode of Learn How to Paint in Acrylics. Well today we're going to be doing a painting of a Scottish Bull Terrier. And his name is Adam. And he's a little chubby, he's really cute, you'll love him. Well let's go to my studio and I'll show you how it's done. I'll see you there. Starring Adam, the Scottish Bull Terrier. Because it takes a long time to do a painting, the lesson was put in fast motion and narrated. Now we've finished up the drawing of Atom. Now we'll take a mixture of burnt sienna and water and we'll create a wash and we'll cover that whole canvas. Now we'll take a men's cotton sock, we'll wipe the paint just to the point you can see the pencil showing through. Well we'll start out with the eyes first. We'll start out with the pupil and then we'll outline it and then we'll blend it in. And now we'll put in the iris, put some burnt sienna in there and then we'll blend it all in. Now we'll get some white and we will add some highlights to the white portion of the eye. We'll kind of create a gray for the shadow in the white portion of the eye. And we'll keep the lightest part close to the iris itself. And we'll add some more black and we'll blend it all in. Now we'll frame in around the eyes. We'll use our zero brush. Then we'll place a dot between the iris and the pupil on the top left. Then we will take a, just a little bit of white in with our black and create a gray. 
frame in around the eye itself. Now we'll get some white and we will add some highlights to the white portion of the eye. Can brighten that up just a little bit. Now let's we'll switch over to our number two brush. Now we're going to get some black and we're going to fill in around the eye. You see how it's a little transparent? That's a good thing because we're going to build up on that. Just continue filling it in. Then we'll work around the ear. And there's a fold of the inside of the ear right there in the center. I'll kind of outline that out. I'll just cover that so we can barely see it. Now we'll take some brown and white and then we will highlight that area. Make the soft skin from the inside of the ear show out. Now we'll add more black in with the fur. And then we will take some of it over to the ear. Continue framing around the eyes and, and the side of the head. That gives it a really good contrast. Lighten it up right above the eye and on the side. Add a little more white into the shadow on the corner of the eye. Just a little bit of touch up and detail in and around the eye. Now, we will work on the other eye. When we put the pupil in, we put it as a half circle because the eye is at an angle. Put some burnt sienna in there and then we'll blend it in. Now we get that just right. A little bit of white on our zero brush and we'll put the highlight in between the pupil and the iris in the upper part of the eye. There we go. Now he's looking right at you. Well, we'll work on the other ear. We'll use our zero brush, get our black and white, and we'll just blend in. Add a little more white. Add white with burnt sienna. 
kind of outline it. And take a good look at your photograph and see where all the shadows are. Okay, we're going to work on the white fur around the eye and we're going to fill in the rest of his head with white. We'll start out with our zero brush and we'll just work that in carefully around the eye and shadowing at the same time as we go. Then we'll switch over to our number two brush and we'll put some white in it and then we'll fill in the, the whole top of his head and we'll work our way down around the nose. A little bit of touch up around the eye. Now we're going to come down to around his nose and we're going to fill that in. Then we're going to blend the black into the white, make it really soft. Now we'll work on the nose. We'll start out with the nostrils first using our black and then we'll outline the nose. And add a little more black. Fill in the nose using a little more water so you can see through the paint to see where you're painting. Now go ahead and make it darker in the front. And add some highlights to underneath his nostrils. And highlights to the top of the nose. Little more highlights on the nostrils. Right there in front, a little more highlights. Add a little more black and blend it in. Now we'll work onto his mouth. We'll make his chin a little darker. We'll fill that in. Now we'll get some white to the left side of his, his cheek. work on the right side. You add a little more white into the shadow and we're blending on the canvas as we go. A 
add some more highlights to the nose. And we're also blending on the canvas as we go. Alright. Now we got the nose done, now we're going to blend the top part of the nose into the white fur around his face. Add a little more burnt sienna with black and white. Make it a little bit lighter for the shadow onto the side of his nose. And go a little bit on the other side. and the highlight around the eye using those same colors a little more light reflections on the side of his cheek a shadow underneath his lips you add a little more white into the shadow and we're blending on the canvas as we go. We'll add some more white and burnt sienna around his neck and we'll blend it in as we go. Blending all that in. We'll put in the whisker marks on the side of his cheek. Got our photo, and now we're going to work around his neck a little more. And a little bit on his collar. Just kind of blend all that in. Start out with your shadows first, and then you build on top of your shadows with your white. We'll work on his body. We'll add more white. We're using our number two brush. We'll do some more blending. Then we'll add some brighter white over on the left side where his body is. And then we'll also add some on his nose. Now 
now that we've got that there, we'll blend it all in. A lot of little touch-ups as we go. Okay, we'll work on his body and we'll blend. Now we'll switch to our number 10 brush because we're going to fill in the body with a lot of paint. Get some black on the bottom corner. We'll switch to our number two brush. Add a little more white. And then we're going to get some black on the bottom corner, bring it up towards the top, and we're going to blend it in as we go. We'll add more black to the bottom left, and then we'll fill it in. And now we'll shadow the right side. Well, now we'll add a lot of brown on the right side. Then we'll take white and we'll blend it in from the edge of the canvas over to the left. And we will bring it to the front. And we'll brighten it up a little more on the right hand side using more white. When you use your darker colors first, when you add your lighter colors on top of it, it's easier to blend. Now we'll get some burnt sienna and we'll fill in the background. We'll add a little more white to the pillow. And we'll kind of brighten up the left corner of the background. There we go. Okay, now we're going to get our zero brush and we're going to work on the fur and how to make your fur stand out more. Wait, we're going to go ahead and add some black and white and we're going to bring out his fur a little more into the black area. All 
right. We're going to do some highlights. We're going to go ahead and bring out the fur. And we're going to fluff them up a little bit. Just create the fine hair strokes over the background. Put the fur in around the edges. You see how the fur comes up over onto the background and how you can blend the fur in to the dark parts of the fur. That's how you make the fur look real. As you bring it out to the edge of the fur, fine lines over the top of the dark part of the background, and it fits in really nice. Now we're going to do some highlights on the front of his nose. Alrighty. Well, we're almost finished. Detail around to where his whisker lines are. Now we're going to go ahead and add the whiskers. Since the whiskers are so light, they're almost invisible, so you don't want to make them stand out. You just want to give it a hint that it's there. Now we'll go ahead and sign our painting. Now that the painting's signed, we'll go ahead and paint the edges of the canvas black. Now that's totally optional. Yeah, you don't really need to, but it just looks better. There's Adam. There, we're back, but that is the painting of Adam, a Scottish Bull Terrier. And I will see you on the next episode. You guys have a wonderful day and happy painting. Bye.